Oh God! To all my adult brothers and sisters from Awuchi, from Bini, or from any part of Edo, I think we really need to do something about this. A time will come, Edo State will be known as number one side for Ashawu guests. Honestly, Awuchi, my hometown, I never knew it was like this. Every, like, let me say, 80% of ladies in Awuchi now are totally wrong guests. Like, you cannot approach a girl. The first thing she's gonna tell you is, How much are you giving her? Like, I don't understand. Eh? So, to all of you who are from Edo State or outside abroad, please just know now our town is gradually becoming a site for Ashawu. Honestly, I'm telling you, like, I, I saw it myself. Like, I witnessed everything. I witnessed everything i'm in edo stay for like five days now so guys you already know it's a boy here yeah, adam slink welcome back again to another video welcome back to another crazy video thank you for coming back for clicking that video as soon as you got that notification please try as much as possible to like this video comment share it on our social media platform share your opinion in the comment section below and also follow me on instagram facebook twitter at adam's link media and also guys please try as much as possible to click on the subscribe button below and of course uh click on the bell notification to get updated all my new content so guys according to information a lot of dubai clubs are struggling currently and uh, a lot of uh, rough games based in dubai and not happy they are like losing a lot of job all because of one person and let me say two persons and that is woodbury and osh poppy and their gangs and uh, that's because you know osh poppy is one of all those guys that whenever he's in dubai a lot of dubai clubs want him to come to their own club to party with the guests and his gang because they know they're gonna almost buy like double the amount of of uh, the drinks that everybody gonna buy in that club. Osh Poppy and this guy are gonna buy it double. So Osh Poppy was like a very big business for them, but now Osh Poppy has been arrested and this gang along with him. And those was guys that usually get money from Osh Poppy are also lamenting. They are not happy at all. You see a lot of big, big, uh, uh, all those ones guests in Dubai are currently leaving Dubai as we speak. Businesses, club businesses are closing down. Oshpopi issue has really, really affected a lot of things. Even other boys who usually go there to flaunt a lot of money are not doing that currently. They are on the low. They are, they are no longer going to club. Like the club issue of popping drinks does no longer happen. Like it doesn't happen anymore. Because Osh Poppy and this gang, we are the holy people who will go to club, buy a lot of drinks, just they will just be sharing it to a bunch of people they don't even know. You know, and all they come in and they are because of them, whenever they are going to club, you see a lot of ladies from gangs coming to that particular club just to get a glance or just to get a chance to see chop from Osh Poppy and this gang. But right now it's no longer there and a lot of people are afraid and businesses in Dubai clubs are gradually closing down and a lot of runs games are gradually leaving Dubai because the business currently in the air is not popping the Ashawu business you already know what I'm talking about so guys let me throw this question out there to all my viewers what do you think is more important in marriage in a relationship in anything in a union money or love what is more important so leave your comment below for me honestly i have little money but now i need love huh so the two are intertwined to each other there's without love there's no money and without money there's no love but love in the sense of this world works is more effective in a successful relationship no money in the sense of this world is more effective in a, in a successful relationship than love so our president has spoken again and he said nigeria no we have done our best in combating insecurity this is what he has to say let me read it. i said i want nigerians to be very conscious 
of their country and what we inherited when we came in in 2015 was BK boys in the northeast and the militancy in the south south Nigeria know that we have done our best what is coming up in the north west and the north central is very disturbing indeed but I believe the military the police and other law enforcement agencies from the report I'm getting I think they could do better that was our president said so according to him he said they have done uh, that he his uh, administration have done have, have done their best in combating insecurity honestly guys for those of you who are in this country to, for those of you who are really really suffering the way that i am suffering in this country the kidnapping and whatsoever honestly tell me exactly how you feel about this statement do you think that president Mohamed Buhari administration has done their best in combating security in fact in other countries when you come out to make this kind of statement automatically you should have resigned because you have done your best there's nothing you can do any longer so you allow somebody who can do better than you are to come in you should have used that word they have done their best you should have said they have they have been combating and they are still doing more and that they are still going to do more to combat that is the statement that the politicians are supposed to use but you know honestly guys i i think nigeria security is a very very simple something it's a very very simple logic that we that the federal government just needs to implement allow state policing allow state policing you cannot hurt you cannot hurt a an edo man to go and kill himself in in the in in, in kaduna all in the name of protecting people in kaduna i know in the, when it comes to force you are supposed to protect but in the in the right sense i don't i'm just talking as a plague as a in, on the playground you cannot hacks and a do man to go and lay his life for the people in kaduna he has a family in edo allow state security the federal government the power in the center is too much they need to distribute that power they cannot achieve success when that power is highly concentrated on the center even the heart cannot hold too much blood. it has to pump it around the body you know it's just a simple logic we know we're going to get it wrong there are a bunch of things that not only insecurity the federal government just have too much power they need to distribute it they need to distribute it but the cabals will never never allow that to happen so that is why we will continue to have insecurity in this country but they need to sit down the cabals in this country need to sit down and for once think about the betterment of this country let them start distributing power that is just the best way that i think that we can combat the security in this country because this is what the wasabi said he said just look at my son i realize how innocent he is how kind he is how loving he is how honest he is how forgiving he is because he still cries to sleep in my bed even when i put him on time out how great he is and then i see that as we grow older the world teaches us about jealousy envy hate racism uh tribalism sexism all these shames the world slowly starts to put limitation on us force us to differ belief and fear etc when we have born great my prayer for us tonight is that we learn how to be children again it's true guys i really see what she was trying to say in that like everybody for one just need to sit and start being a kid again you know when a child is born a child is never born with hate with jealousy 
with nothing it's just pure love pure love but as time goes on the world teaches that child to be jealous envy dangerous turn that that innocent child to something so something very very different well the world is full of mysteries and that is exactly how god has created it so every one of us just need to do our bit and try as much as possible to assist one another and that then we can just do our bit we cannot kill ourselves huh? uh, because there are some times when you try like when i say assist there are some assistance that you give to people they will keep coming for that assistance you know they will never learn you know the world is just immune so people are no 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 the characters of people are very very shocking what happened in ghana a 28 years old woman called uh, abigail ended the life of her twin children simply because she wasn't able to cater for them and honestly guys the first thing that i said to myself is thank god human beings are not god because she would have received that punishment immediately firstly what were you thinking when you brought those kids into this world like when you were busy lying be uh, no performing the ritual in order to bring a child into this world it was somehow sweeting you like you enjoyed it the only time i can ever ever like see reasons to what she did is when maybe she was you no know, something else happened but when she wholeheartedly welcomed those children into this world and she decided to do such a heart i think she really needs to pay for them of course africa as a whole there's there's real hardship serious hardship good morning our government please we are pleading to you we are guests from lebanon we are stranded please all of us that we are sitting here, we are all sleeping in this same room. We are cooking our food in that, inside this room. We are sleeping here. Everything we want to do inside this one room. Please, we need your help. We need your help. Our so guys, about 30 Nigerians trapped in Lebanon after they were trafficked to Lebanon are begging President Mohamed Bouhari to come to their rescue. And I decided to share this simply because, like, if I could assist, so that's why I'm sharing this. You know, anything that concerns Nigerians outside who are a little bit uh, having some difficulties, I like as much as possible to assist them. So, if anybody has any contact, I have a uh, direct contact to President, President Mohamed Bouhari or anybody that uh, can help, please do. These girls are trapped there. You know, some people just misuse uh, uh, some set of people you no know? they will promise you that you're gonna get a job you're gonna do this you're gonna yeah, do that they'll give you fake documents at the end of the day when you get to that place you see it's a completely different scenario you understand you understand and uh, it's not as if nigerians like to travel outside to hustle but simply because of the hardship in this country that's why you see them going out. Before it was guys who are like hustling, trying to go out there to hustle. But right now, ladies are not even becoming more than guys who are traveling hard. Everybody now just want to hustle. Just want to hustle. Just want to make a living for themselves. So guys, if anybody out there who know anyone who can assist these girls, 30 Nigerians trapped in Lebanon please assist assist please so guys uh, it's a boy again Adam Spring uh, I think I'm gonna end this video here thank you again for tuning in thank you for everything you have been doing so guys I'm gonna see you in my next video have a wonderful day bye